Well, a group of smaller venues in Grand Rapids won a cut of the increased hotel tax, which is aimed to fund the amphitheater and proposed soccer stadium. Owners of the four-star theater, the intersection, and the pyramid scheme spoke at a recent county board meeting, urging commissioners to set some of that money aside. News 8's Byron Tollefson talked with the man trying to restore the four-star theater about the difference the money would make. Nestled in the Burden Heights neighborhood for nearly the last century is the Four Star Theater. It was a staple in the community, um, you know, built in a working class neighborhood. For nearly a decade now, Marcus Rinalda has been fighting to bring it back to its old glory. A lot of people had the same thought I did. It's like, this place just has to come back. It was originally a movie theater before it became a concert hall in the 1970s and brought in some recognizable artists. People like Joan Jett. Hall & Oates, Eddie Money. Four Star Theater became a nightclub in the 1990s, then later a youth center before it became vacant in 2004. Marcus bought the building in 2017 with a $5 million vision to turn it into a cultural arts center once again. And music is calling us loud and clear, right? There's a huge need uh, for mid-sized venues like this. Um, for independent musicians. Completed renovations of a million dollars, like replacing the roof, has already allowed them to host up to 10 events a month. But to reach Marcus's full vision of restoring the building, he says he needs up to $4 million for new equipment, new bathrooms, masonry restoration, and making the building handicap accessible. A big part of phase three of this project would be building out this way to create a green room for artists to enjoy. Another part of the project would be taking this old loading dock, inverting this down to the basement where they would build bathrooms so they're able to host more people in this building. Recently, as the county board approved increasing the hotel tax to fund the amphitheater and proposed soccer stadium, Marcus and other venue owners asked the board for a slice of that revenue. The higher tax is expected to generate $24 million in its first year, and Marcus says they want 5% of that set aside. One thing that I've learned in, in five years is the, just the equitable opportunity that arts and culture offers and that is severely lacking um, here on the south side of Grand Rapids. Um, you know there's historically been um, just not a lot of attention, not a lot of investment that happens here. During the meeting, County Board Chair Stan Steck said the county needs to figure out whether state law allows revenue from the tax to be used for smaller private venues like Four Star Theater. He said a decision likely won't be made until next year. Marcus says if the theater gets the care it needs, it can become a cornerstone in the neighborhood once again. We can draw visitors in from out of town. Um, we can fill um, kind of a missing piece of the music and entertainment scene um, that the big venues simply aren't equipped to handle. In Grand Rapids, Byron Tollefson, News 8.